Are you ready for it? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, one and all. I'm Helix Oblivion, joined by Small Archangel. We're playing Seven Days to Die. Oh, Welcome on board. Hello. En Hello. Enjoy the ride. I'm going to turn that off before it burns through all our fuel again, but whilst creating nothing, because we can't create uh, concrete mix just yet, but uh, we're going to work on that, aren't we? Uh, I'm going to make an iron pickaxe, because we've got some forge dying make out of our forge ready. Can. But, yeah, maybe. I'm just going to see well, if I can up my tool-smithing first. I've upped my tool-smithing and I've upped my weapon-smithing. Because uh, okay. I've got a few points here to spend. Armor-crafting. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to up my armor-crafting as well. I did, my armor-crafting as well. You did. I, I spent most of my points on getting science up to level 3 because you said we needed that. Well, I, yeah, We in order to to learn concrete mixing, we need our science skill and our mining skill up. Of course, there's one way we're going to get our mining skill up, and that is mining this place out uh, in order in yep. to, to, to our liking. So, uh, shall we do a day of grafting? Maybe we should. Maybe we should do a bit of uh, DIY today, possibly. Yeah. What do we reckon? Um, We've got some food. We're not going to starve today. Meh, I don't know how to spell the rest, but uh, yes, okay. Bacon and eggs. We've got pickaxe. We've got I'm a few pieces of stuff. We are not starving today. We've got water. So I think while we're not desperate for any of those things, perhaps the sort of ideal thing to do would be to mine. Yes, maybe it would because once we get our mining skill up, then we're going to be able to. We're going to be able to. Yeah, we're going to Great. be able to do. Yeah, do stuff. So that's good, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, I've got some blocks. What? There's a horde. Hopefully, they'll just pass harmlessly over our heads. Oh, I've just realised there's a. There's uh, a stalactite that I missed last night. Oh, Does the uh, moss have a medis medicinal use in this game? I am <laughs> not sure it does. At the moment, I don't think it has any use whatsoever, which is kind of disappointing, isn't it? Uh, small Archangel? Yeah. Don't get that stalactite. I just did. They, aren't, they haven't detected me. Have they detected you? No, but they're no. close. They are, but they will just walk over the top of us because there is no way of them sort of getting in. I mean, obviously, we can always just go out and shoot them all and then come back in and mine because we can't we mine could. while they're there. No, because they might detect us. Well, yeah. we'll have to stay in sneak mode. We're not absolutely sure at this point. Uh, how yeah, how many are out there, etc. So we might just want to be a little bit stealthy about this and find I'd out. I'd say there was a good. Oh, God, Where I'm glad are. you opened that door. I did. I thought... <laughs> no, it wasn't them. They can't open doors. They just beat crap out of them. I can't see any up here. Lo a lot of the time when be I over think our there's head. a load of Zeds attacking my base, they turn out to be smacking heck out of a rock 15 metres away. So, can you see them? No. I think they've moved on. They do. They, they, they move on quite swiftly. I don't see any at all, which is fine by me, quite We're frankly. We're underneath this now, area, aren't we? We are, yeah. One of the things that I was going to do, one of the things we were going to do today, we're thinking about setting up a farm, weren't we? Because yes. we've got a hoe, haven't we? Half Shall we season. do the floor in wood initially? Yeah, well, yes, we can do. We can do. I think wood in there is going to be absolutely fine for the floor to start with. Right, I'm going to see if I can find somewhere to put the farm that's not too close to where we are uh, because we don't want zombies kind of kicking crud out of it, do we? No. No. So I shall make it, make sure it's not too far, uh, not too close to our base and it's probably outside of the circle that our base is sort of spawned on and not too close to our, our, our zombie kicking tower either. <laughs> No, we need to enlarge that. We do need to enlarge that entirely, but uh, it kind of works for the moment, and for the first few hordes, it'll do us absolutely fine. Right. Oh, oh my oh, God. Over here. What? <laughs> Listening to the counter on this, I'll be like, dum, 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 dum. Uh -huh. What <laughs> is it you're making? <laughs> wood frames. Oh, yeah, they make, they craft really fast, I think. Okay, still. The rate at which they go up is insane. <laughs> It's all right. Qu 
quick crafting is good. Oh, I'm going to take this tree out, actually, because in point of fact, I just have no wood at the moment. It's crazy, so I'm going to have to get some we wood. Need, we need more wood anyway, especially if we're doing that first level in wood just until we've... That's right, oh. exactly. So I'm going to uh, replant these trees as well. I'll replant that one straight away there, and then I'll put another one there. So there's a few mature maples around here. I'll have those. And I still I'm getting quite a lot of wood. iron from this. That's good. Iron is good. Iron should go through the forge or just like bug it in the forge. I think we've got stone in one slot and we need iron in the other, really. Where what was sleeping? that sound? That was me chopping a tree down above your head. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. It's me. Not a problem. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm planting, I'm replanting as I go, but I'm just, you know, taking out all these because we, yeah, we seriously need to do it. There we are. Ah, now that's dirt above. It's not stone. We're going to have to make a workbench before too much longer, but there's a couple of tools that we're going to need in order to craft that, I think. We're going to need a wrench. I'm not sure if we've got a wrench yet. And I think you need a wrench and a claw hammer to make a workbench. Oh, goody. Really easy stuff, then. That's right, exactly. There's a, there's a reason why we don't tend to have workbenches straight off the bat, and that is because there's some fairly sort of... Decent gear. Oh, oh, need. oh, where's that drop going? It is to the east. I Low, think we it's go get to it. the east and it's miles away. Is it uh, really? I, well, not miles, but all the same. I haven't planted this chuffing farm yet, so I'm kind of wanting to do that before I do anything yeah, else. Yeah, we probably so. shouldn't get distracted like a dog with squirrels. Yeah, unfortunately, that is what I find happens to me a lot in this game, and that's what leads to me night running home uh, at <laughs> at night with a load of zombies on my ass. So it is probably a good idea to just kind of go, you know what, I'm going to do such and such, and then stick to it till it's done. This is yeah. what I always tell myself. It doesn't necessarily happen, but there you go. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And do you have any kind of plan for what you're doing down there? Not really. Oh, okay. Just don't, like, make the whole thing collapse on top of you, because that would be an epic fail. Yeah. We don't want that. By collapse, do you mean still standing? Yeah. Ideally, what we want is Dave <laughs> still existing, yes. I'm still standing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what we want, yes. Oh, I'm still trashing a tree. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I made a hundred. Oh, that's better. I can see. You made a hundred what? Wood frames. I think I was being a tad over enthusiastic. A hundred? What are you going to be doing with those? <laughs> Floor. Oh, silly me, of course. Well, I don't know. You know, <laughs> they might be quite useful for things. Yeah. Besides which, don't worry about over-making wood frames. They're cheap to make, they're quick to make, and they make, as one of my subs pointed out, very good fuel for forges and campfires. So we can always use them. They're also essential for nerd polling your way out of anything doggy related situations. Oh god, this pickaxe is about so. to break. Uh yeah, you're gonna need to repair it then, I think. Uh, don't where, go where, breaking where are it. the forged things? The forged iron is in the chest that's you know the oh gosh, this is the thing, our storage is not very well organized. Oh is I it? found it, don't worry. Yeah, it's in one of the chests basically. Oh it's... holy crap. What? Obviously, I've been standing still for like 30 seconds, so I've got two zombies. zombies after me. Of course I have. I've got a whole flipping horde to deal with. You need a hand. Yeah, I think it's probably fair to say I do. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. The feral whores, the roaming whores rather, are really very keen indeed on this in, in, the, in the game now. I mean, I kind of missed them when they weren't there, but now you get two free a day. It's, it's, now it's, it's just a bit OTT. It is a bit OTT, yes. I mean, you stay in one place for about four minutes and an entire horde oh, turns right. up. How You're exactly do they know where I am every single solitary time? Hello. And they just all come at me. Oh, she's got the gun. Excellent. Bag some brains. At least we get some loot this way, oh, don't God. we? Just, yeah, watch that out. If you me. get that loads of me. them. Oh, I'm yeah, she packs infected. a punch. She packs a punch. Oh, gosh, you've got an infection. All right. Oh, I'm not entirely sure if I actually hit that one. 
Oh, oh my go. bullets are out. Yeah, unfortunately, you'll yeah, that will keep having, happening. I never seem to manage to get my um my guns skills up very much because I always run out of bullets. Oh crap! In fact, right now, just to prove a point, I've actually run out of arrows. So. Oh no. Yeah, it's all right. I've got I've got some feathers and things. I just need to make some more arrows. 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 Make I'm taking out the ones at the gold. back. Woo! Like a okay. lion hacking off the weaker ones. Yeah, that's the way to go. There oh we go. god, I keep missing this guy. Yeah, some of them are very easy to miss, aren't they? I shot you in the hey. head like three times. Oh, that did not work. There I'm already disease ridden. You can't hurt me, bitch. <laughs> oh, don't say that. They can. They really... Oh, hello. I just got another hoe. Nice. Um, Nurse, what have you got for me? Bandages. Nice. Like it. Yeah. And what are you going to say, Jim Bob? Oh, you're going to die. I don't know which die. one of us did that. Both of us, probably. <laughs> he had a red baseball cap. He had nothing. <laughs> well, where did all the other cadavers go? There was a ton of them, and I don't know where their corpses are any longer. This is rubbish, oh, well. isn't it? Ha. Uh, that is rubbish. Okay, they must be... Oh, they're all over here. They're all over here. There's a mass of them. There we go. Let's see if any of those have got anything good. No, no. Uh, hoodie and some short eye pipes. Oh, holy crap. You're dropping a tree on my head. Sorry. I just thought <laughs> while I was out here, I'd get some wood. Okay, yeah. I'll just plant that tree. And uh, there's a couple of skirts there. I'm not sure... White, why either one of us. Oh, there's a couple more Ooh. Zeds over there. Oh, me. Definitely, that's. They're probably ones I, like I saw earlier. Uh, you remember I said that there was a load of zombies that were just kind of wandering randomly around and they looked like they were. Um, well. Hey, Steve. Do we have any antibiotics? I don't remember. Yeah, I've got two on me, and there might be some in the base as well. I can't I remember. I have arrows, but it's not loading them. Why is it not loading them? Oh, watch out for Steve. Watch out for Steve. He's probably that, yeah. I have no arrows that work. I just shot him. Oh, scary what ass. Did, why, why did it not? <laughs> Take why did it not? Why did it not load the iron-tipped arrows? I don't know. Did you, uh, are you like pressed R and things? I pressed R it and it didn't do it. I have no idea. I don't know. Right, I'll leave you to the farm. Yes. Work. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully I'll manage to finish it before the next horde turns up because the beggars will, won't they? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So I've got corn seeds, chrysanthemum seeds. I've completely lost where our base <laughs> Potato seeds. Oh my goodness, that's got a bit oh, there it is. on. Right, I'm going to place this first, because then I can pick those up. I love the fact that you can just drop down onto that straw. Yeah, that was a good wheeze, actually. That was a pretty good idea. Oops. Okay, I've finished the farm now. I've pretty much finished the farm. Uh, I've got most things planted here. We've got corn, we've got potatoes. We've only got one chrysanthemum at the moment. We've got a couple of corn. Uh, let's see, I might do some more cotton, uh, but other than that, we've got oh most, God, we haven't got any scary. coffee, eh? Digging out underneath things is scary. Uh, it is, you've got to be very, very careful, but as I say, if you put frames around the outside, it should be okay, and just make sure that you don't break the pickaxe, because, uh, it costs a lot more to make than they cost to, uh, fix. I'm keeping an eye on the pickaxe, and level up. Ooh, it nice. seems to not, it, it seems to be there still, and not breaking. Yes, that is definitely good. Now, I, there was a drop somewhere around. I cannot remember where the chuf it was. Oh, it was over here somewhere. So right. I'm going to see if I can find yon drop. Um, besides which, getting the heck out of Dodge is probably a good idea, just in case I spawn another ro random roaming horde. Yeah, we don't want one of them. We, not another one of those, no. As I say, sometimes you can find like two or three of the beggars a day. It's really a joke. Bit, bit much when you have to deal with three hordes a day. On horde day, I usually find I end up dealing with two or three hordes before the feral one shows up. That's not what? good. No, it's a bit unfair, I feel. 
Okay. You're right, the frame thing works and holds things up. It does, doesn't it? Ah, there's Hank. Yeah, hey, yeah Hank. you and you, pal, and you. Yeah, I've used that a couple of times when I've been, you know, sort of trying to, yeah, stop things from collapsing and... <laughs> it's like those poles of, oh there's a cowboy here as well like those poles of um, dirt, I think they're only dirt that are kind of holding the ceiling of the cave up and I'm kind no, of wanting to replace well, I... those um, myself the stone I think that's the thing, it's a bit difficult to tell isn't it and I'm kind of wanting to replace those which will be a bit more robust but at the same time I'm not absolutely sure um, I, well they seem to be doing okay Ah, oh, they seem to do okay, but they're not particularly strong. And oh, they don't look great either, you know. I but... like them! Okay. <laughs> it's possibly safer to just leave them in it. Oh, I've just found a poncho. I'll be quids in if I get too hot, but most of the time I get too cold around here, given there's snow on the ground. It's getting a little bit late, and I'm... Out and about Come going. Heck, young lady, the... what do you think? I think, yeah, I think I'm being a, do a dirty stop out, aren't I? Really, you I should are. just come back to base, shouldn't I? I should be sensible. Come home this and come moment. Back to base. I can make re level 200 quality weapons and tools now because it's nice. I'm just going to hit a couple of boulders on the way home for the stone and the iron for our forge. <clears throat> Getting a bit of potassium nitrate here as well. So. I'm sort of, I've filled in bits. <laughs> bits. I must have a bit more wood now because I have taken out a few trees today. So I should have, let's see, uh, I've got 550, which is pretty powerful. I've only got 16 frames left. I'll make some more. Yes, at least they're cheap to make, but they're not so cheap to upgrade. This is the problem. If you want to upgrade them to full kind of wood, they, uh... oh, now I can't pick up the seeds. Let me scrap that. I want 100 firms. Craft. Bum, 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 bum. It's taken me ages to dig all this stuff out. It does, doesn't it? It takes forever. But I'm getting there, my lover. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is that not my... like... A Dorset, you want Somerset accent, or <laughs> something like that. If I've insulted those people, you know what? Stop being so trigger happy. <laughs> I mean, it's seriously. It's just a poor accent impersonation. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> people do abominable uh, Scottish and Irish accents all the time, and I, know, I like they... I like the Dorset accent. I like going around saying cider and sausages, <laughs> potatoes. I know it's just not right though, is it? <laughs> like it's like, we know we're getting it wrong. Oh, for goodness. I need to put I need to put a, a marker on the map saying where the entrance to the base is because I keep missing it. I keep running in the wrong direction. Base entrance. I'm going to do this because otherwise... Now, um... Entrance. Oh, God, no. What have you done? Nothing. Oh, you're joking. What have you done? I don't believe Well, you know that pillow? You th pillar? Not pillow. Pillar. pillar. Yeah, we have you thought pillows. about replacing. Yeah. It's gotten thin. <laughs> it's artistic. It's artistic. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is oh, why I was thinking, possibly, you know, that replacing, replacing would be... Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. I might it's build a couple of around towers. Here. So. You've been doing some things. I have. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put some stuff Shift away. Shift your bedroll. Oh, my. Before you destroy it. Oh, that, this one. There we go. Okay, I better not die now, hadn't I? Yeah, place Otherwise, it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to place it again, yes. Okay, bullet casings. Bandages. <clears throat> mechanical parts. Oh, I don't know. We're probably... We need to rationalise this kind of stuff because otherwise it's just all going in different places. There we go. It's all going in the wrong places. Eggs. Eggy weggies. Honey. Always use honey. honey. Oh, yeah, that's it. I've got an infection. Yeah, well, take some <laughs> honey. Take some honey while it's still, you know, going to work. I'm so dim. Uh, yeah, I always forget when I've got an infection as well. It's not particularly clever. Yeah, it's gone. And then I've got some... Clothing of various kinds. I'm going to put in this uh, box here. 
Just okay, have a change of style. And some hoes, or rather, I've got one hoe. I thought I had two. Oh, I have got two. There we go. I've well, got you have the original hoe. Two garden hoes. <laughs> that sounds like a film title. It does, doesn't it? The original. I was the original hoe. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh gosh, we need some light over here. Got some lead and some coal. We can do it. Need some steps. Got coal there. There we go. Okay, and some. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put my bedroll here-ish. And, yeah, I'm thinking that possibly replacing this pillar that we've got here. I don't want to do it. Don't, don't knock it down. Oh, don't worry. I'm not knocking it down. I'm doing quite the opposite. I am replacing it with one that will because it is literally just mud above yeah i know it is that's why i'm replacing it now you've got probably have you got any uh have i got any stone <laughs> no you will have lots of stone no i'm thinking have you got any um wood frames but uh i have yeah well you could nerd pole up there but i can't so i'm gonna have to make some frames myself because they are they're useful things to have anyway as i say if you ever get uh mauled by dogs they're the best way of getting out of the way getting out of reach so i'm gonna just nerd pole up here and rectify this we've got a candle there which i'm gonna pick up and then i'm gonna basically build this pillar all the way up to the top there we go and now we can take out this pillar i don't want to with break no the fear. shovel It's terrifying. There thing. we go. Okay, and that could come out. And more to the point, I can well, I can put another light on it, so I can put this candle back on it, like this somewhere. I mean, we could take it down now. Yay! There we go. Hey, we can take it down now. Yeah, and I could put another pillar here, you see, to replace this one that's currently here. Okay, well you do um, that. And I might put this one kind of on this side. And I can do that. There we go. You really do need to go down lower. I do, and I will do. But I have to take the block out underneath it in order to... Because I'm going to try and take it all to this level. Yeah, that's it. So I will just mine this out a little bit. You've got your own little troll here. I am sure. Or dwarf. <laughs> Or whatever you want to call me. <laughs> what? A troll? I'm not going to call you a troll. <laughs> Dwarf? Hobbit? Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Once we take I this down to... I've got so a, much stone. Once we get that, this down to... This is good. We need lots of stone. And this is one of the good things about building underground. I always feel like it's a bit of a minor pseudo cheat. It's a bit cheesing it because... The zombies can't get at you. It's still in game the most safe thing to do. Um, but Don't it's say kind of that. The devs will make mining zombies or some mental. They will. They absolutely will. We already know they'll do this. And if they get the breadcrumbing sort of system in in place, that is going to make all our lives much more difficult, regardless of how we design our bases. But that's not the point here. The, the point is that... Red uh, crumbing you... system. I've not heard of that. Ah, well, that is where basically the zombies know not only where you are, but where you've been. Which oh, means they God. can work out how to get into your base. So, uh, Yay! Yeah. So that's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, well, you, actually, so that. that could be a, to your advantage. You could, if you thought tactically. You just It's just going to require a change of... Change of tactic and a change of thinking. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Because you could go. just lead them through a load of traps. Yes, you could. Or you could have some sort of parkour thing going on or something. But uh, Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm just pounding dirt there. But uh, oh, and I'll take that candle off there. And that candle that can then go on this pillar um, and illuminate this place a little bit more as well. But the more flat surfaces we've got, the more likely it is that we're going to be able to place lights and uh, any kind of furnishings and what have you as well. And the whole place will look rather better for it. 
won't it? So it will. I'm going to make this place look excellent. It's going to look lovely. But I've nearly trashed my axe, but I can make another. It's not a problem. We need to get a got... workbench down here as soon as possible, I think. Definitely. There we go. That's more or less got it done. Sorted. Okay. Nice. This is going to look good. This is going to look good eventually. I'm trying to kind of square it off. Yeah, we are. We are. And it's going to give us more space when we do. We'll probably have to put our... Uh, we'll probably have to put our... Um, chests a bit lower down and sort that all out as well but we can do that can't we yeah, yeah so it's, we a can. Bit, it's all a bit mad at the moment but we can well we came we'll in and it was literally it. a cave it was a cave that's right exactly so we're just trying to make this a bit less cave like and a bit more uh, a bit more homey and it will be homie. it'll be fab by the time we finish it's just going to take us a few episodes isn't it so uh so there you go Okay, guys, so we hope, again, that you've enjoyed this episode. It's 2.17am in, uh, in the game, so we better probably call it a day. My axe is pretty much trashed, so I'm going to scrap it and make another one. Yes, I could repair that one, but it would make it less durable rather than more so. And I prefer to have one that's as durable as the previous one. And I'm going to do so with my bow. I'm going to make a new bow because it's going to go up by 50 points of durability and quality. Which is excellent. There we go. There we are. And that's better. Until we get a workbench in this joint and can actually upgrade our stuff by sort of melding it together. Uh, that is going to be the best option for us, I think. But this is going to take shape, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to take I don't know. dog's ages. <laughs> it's going to take forever, but it's going to take a while. And it's going to take a lot of uh, resources and stuff. But I'm just looking to see if we've got any... Any, uh, any any lights, any more lighting, and uh, we need cloth, and I'm not sure we actually have any, which is quite bad. I used all the cloth to make bandages. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's it. So we're going to need some more. I've planted some cotton. Oh, so we no. Eventually. I over-upgraded yeah. that. Just be careful what you're doing around that forge. I don't want to destroy Have it. I left a hole? Yeah. I have. I've left a hole. That's the problem. I'm okay. trying to put a thing in. And yeah, it's kind of very hit. difficult to do anything behind the forge. There we go. I, I upgraded the block behind the forge. It's quite yay. difficult to upgrade the block beneath the forge. You have to do it from... There we go. I've managed to do it now. And the same with this fridge. You kind of have to do it like that. I kind of did there it. There we go. Oh, I, there's sort that of several now. spots where I haven't put frames and you can't tell. No, nope, you Until can't. Until you try and actually upgrade them. Exactly, that's right. It's quite difficult, isn't it? So there we go. I think we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably move our storage to kind of round the outsides of the rooms and think, room and things so it will look a bit less mad. But uh, for the moment, it's looking better all the time, I reckon. It is. It's looking better all the time. Okay, guys, more, so. It's looking more. Like a base and less like a yeah. random cave. And we're going to have to fill in the ceiling with some concrete or even reinforced concrete so we feel a bit more protected from the zombies. I don't above. like the fact is that it is dirt. just dirt. It that is just dirt. Me. That's right. We don't need the ceiling to be this high and we do want it to be more solid. So Could we, Should we do um, cobblestone floor or do you want concrete floor? Oh, I don't know. At the moment, it's wood. And I think, to be honest, wood's probably going to be fine at this point. It's the cheapest. It is at the moment, yes. Until we really get things sorted, wood is going to be the cheapest thing to do. And that's yeah. what we'll do to start with. So uh, there you go. Anyway, we should finish this episode because it's nearly four in the morning now in the game and that's dawn, isn't it? Uh, yes. I need to get my character fed and watered because I'm starving to death again. I don't know about oh, you. Oh, God, so am I. Uh, yeah, I thought you kind of probably would be also. <laughs> Um, I really should go. pay attention to that. Indeed, indeed. And we are f approaching the next tour day again, but we've got a few days before that happens. So we hope you guys will join us and see what we do with those. We're going to be doing up the base here. We're probably going to be doing some more loot runs and exploration runs to uh, the town we know about, but there's also possibly another town in the vicinity we don't know about. We also know that there's a trader up to the north of us and we need to get a workbench in this joint so we've got a whole we've list got a lot of to, do. to do we certainly have we've got a whole world of work ahead of us here <laughs> as usual in this game uh but <clears throat> we hope that you'll join us for, for the ride and we hope that you enjoy what we're doing so far so don't forget to hit that like button and let us know and feel free to give us your comments and stuff yeah we always appreciate them and we do thank you for the we do we like the input 
<laughs> we do. And we like you guys. You're lovely. <laughs> we value our subs. We would be nothing without them. So uh, that's kind of <laughs> true, isn't it? Um, so until the next time, we uh, yeah, we hope to see you in the next video. And until then, uh, keep gaming and bye-bye from both of us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.